In this video, we're going to solve for vertex form from a projectile word problem. What we end up doing is solving for the missing a value in order to write our equation. Let's take a look at our problem. A model rocket reaches a maximum height of 150 feet five seconds after launch. Draw a diagram, calculate the a value, and write the equation in vertex form. Finally, what is the height h of t three seconds in? So let's get started by setting up our diagram. Got our axes, we'll label h of t for the height and t for the time in seconds. We'll draw an upside down parabola. And now we can go ahead and label our vertex, which would be at 5, 150. Sometimes it's helpful to go ahead and label our axes with these key values. So a time of 5 and a height of 150 matches up with our vertex. Now we're ready to go ahead and write out our vertex form. Notice though that we don't know what the a value is, so for now we can just put a, but we can write the rest because we know our vertex is 5, 150. So the question is, how do we solve for our a value? What we're going to do is use a reference point. The easiest reference point for this graph would be 0, 0. So basically, we substitute in 0, 0 into our vertex form. So this would look like this. So now the only variable left is the a. And now we just go about solving for a. So if we look at the parentheses first, that would be negative 5 squared. That's 25. And then I'll go ahead and move the positive 150 to the left side and just switch around my a times 25 to 25a. Now all we have to do is divide both sides by 25 and we get our a value of negative 6. So now we can write our equation in vertex form. We rewrite what we started with, but now we put in negative 6 for the a value. The last question is asking what the height is going to be three seconds in. In other words, what's h of 3? So let's substitute in 3 and start working on this. So 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 gives us 4. Then I can go ahead and multiply negative 6 times 4, get my negative 24 plus 150, which is 126. But remember, this is a word problem. So we want to go ahead and answer it with the proper units. So the height, 3 seconds in, is 126 feet. This last problem is a little more challenging than the first one. It's a little harder to set up. Um, and at the end, you're going to be solving for the horizontal distance instead of the height. But go ahead, pause the video, give it a try, and then check your answer. So we start with our diagram. There's our axes, and we'll label h of d for the height and d for the distance, the horizontal distance. And draw our parabola. And then what information do they give us? They give us that the ball lands 60 meters away, and its maximum height is 18. So we have an extra step here to find the vertex. So we need to know the d value at the vertex. And since this started at 0, 0, halfway there would be 30. So that means our vertex is 30, 18. Now we can go ahead and set up our equation. And we are missing our a value again. So let's go ahead and use our reference point of 0, 0. We'll plug that in. And now we can go about solving for a. So 0 minus 30 is negative 30. Negative 30 squared would give us 900. And then we're going to move that positive 18 to the other side, where it becomes negative 18. And then I'm just going to switch this around. And instead of writing something equals a, I'll write a equals. And we got to divide by 900. So we get negative 18 over 900. We can go ahead and reduce this, divide them both by 9 and get negative 2 over 100. And we could divide by 2 and have negative 1 over 50. You could also write this as a decimal. 
and it would be 0 0.02 or negative two hundredths. Um, it's up to you depending on the problem. Next up, we're going to solve for the horizontal distance given the height of 16. So this time we have 16 equals the negative 1 50th, and we're missing the d value inside the parentheses. So this will be solved a little differently than the last one. First, we'll subtract 18 from both sides. That gives us negative 2. And now we want to get rid of our negative 1 50th. Remember, multiplying by 1 over 50 is the same as dividing by 50. So the opposite would be multiply. So we'll multiply the right side by negative 50, and we have to do the same to the left side. That leaves us with this. And now we're going to take the square root of both sides, and we're left with plus or minus 10 equals d minus 30. Move that negative 30 to the other side, and there's your answer. There's actually two answers, which kind of makes sense. If you look at the parabola, there's actually two places where it will reach a height of 16 meters. So one of our answers would be 30 plus 10. That would give us 40 meters. And if we go 30 minus 10, we get 20 meters. So that'll do it. That is how we can solve for vertex form from projectile word problems by calculating our A value. The key is substituting in a reference point, and 0, 0, if it's part of your graph, is usually the easiest one.